Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the introvert and extrovert experiences in the workplace. I am Susan Sayer, CEO and founder of the COA Club and the extrovert in this conversation. <laughs> and I am Brad Kruger, I am founder of Success Beyond Luck and the Introvert Friendly Network and I am the introvert in this conversation. <laughs> I love doing that pause because it just makes you uncomfortable every time. I'll, I'll get used to yes, it eventually. We're working on it. <laughs> so Brett, tell me a little bit about your experiences as an introvert um, pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic. Yeah, it's hard to hard to think back that far, isn't it? Uh, already. My experience is uh, truthfully uh, one uh, from a corporate experience, just working in a cube farm or in an office setting, you know, just be around people all the time, <laughs> pretty much. And um, also lots of social networking that was happening in person, mm -hmm. working the room. I'm terrible at working the room, hated it, really disliked any of that stuff. I remember also we would do these social activities after work. And I mean, I focused on getting the work done and and I always dreaded them. I just, they were, I was already tired at the end of the day. I was exhausted and then go do a social thing was like adding on <laughs> extra, extra, extra work on top. That's, that's what I remember from. That's so funny because I would always be looking forward to these activities at the end of the day. Work is great. I mean, I also spend all day yep. doing work, but what energizes me is that I know at the end of the day, I'm going to go have some fun and I'm going to be doing it with lots fun. of people. <laughs> I'm going to be doing it with lots of people. The more people there it is, the merrier it uh -oh. is, I would say. So that's so funny because that is, um, for me, pre-pandemic, which you said was seems like a long time ago. Um, uh, there was a lot of social activities going on mm -hmm. at, in the workplace and outside of the workplace, of course. So in the workplace, um, you know, being in the office, people like going to lunch just together, um, at the water cooler conversations, you know, people right. coming out to your office and hanging out and oh talking. My goodness, lunches, yeah. <laughs> all these things. I still remember uh, Susan Cain wrote the book Quiet, which is on introversion, and, and it really hit me when I read this. She's like, um, alcohol is liquid extrovert. And I know early in my liquid career, extrovert. I actually I actually did use, I mean, not excessively, but I'm from Wisconsin, so <laughs> excessive kind of comes along with the territory and the culture. But yeah, alcohol is a way for intro you introverts you to become, which you, know, could, you could think I was an extrovert okay. in social settings. And, it, and, and when, longer. as an extrovert, if, when I drink, then again, it's extrovert extra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm not always the good thing. You talk twice the speed? I, I talk louder and twice the speed, and I get in everybody's faces, you know, because I want to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, 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 you know, that's the interesting part about it, because um, that was what, as most of you remember, what it was like before, then the pandemic hit. And I would say the worst thing that can ever happen to an extrovert uh, like me is being locked down and not, you know, social distancing. How can you tell an extrovert to socially distance from people? I mean, this is impossible. And <laughs> I did not realize, of course, this is some self-reflection <laughs> during that period of time when I had to be alone, um, was that I realized I actually, as part of my extrovert, probably this doesn't always happen to everybody who's an extrovert, but for me, I actually like to touch people. <laughs> I am a people toucher. So when I talk to somebody, I like to touch them, you know, and, uh, and being so, you know, being asked to be socially distanced from people at six foot. Is it six feet? How it far was six okay. foot, yeah, arbitrarily <laughs> six see. feet. Yes. That was like killing me because I'm like, I want to touch you, but I can't. And you can't. And I loved it. Oh my goodness. A reason for one, wearing a mask. So you can just kind of completely be away from everybody wearing a mask and. And I you don't were know. making faces at people. Yes, yeah, so I was mask, sticking my right? tongue out at people. Was just a, <laughs> you can't see me. It's so funny. I, I loved it. The working from home, I absolutely loved it. It was like, I remember it uh, I, before pandemic and still now, like a, like a big holiday like um, Christmas or some other you know, really big holiday that you really enjoy and everything closes. Think of when all the stores close. I love those because there's no place to go. That's nothing, so and No pressure to go do anything. <laughs> and it felt like that was a two year long Christmas break for me. Oh my it God. It was awesome. I loved it. You could sit by the fire if you wanted. You could, I, I enjoyed Even it. And the fact is that because it was, you know, people were made to 
socially distanced and being you know kept away from the offices and all that mm -hmm. it was probably uh you know I guess in a way that was not the kind of pressure that you had to ha that you had from right. before to interact with people because this is excusable because you did not have to interact with people because it was you were told not to interact away, with away. people right? right and so uh, again for me it was killing me that whole time fortunately I had started just started the co club and so the co club is a you know social community mm -hmm. um, and I used that as a way to interact with people online I had I had online Online wine tasting. I had online, um, you know, music sessions. I have online, of course, discussions, uh, more serious discussions and stuff. But I had lots of online stuff to make up for the fact that I couldn't do it with people in person. I love that. <laughs> so, I love the and I mean, you found that luckily. But I loved it because I set up like virtual uh, meetings with friends two thousand miles away once a month, every, you know, every couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and it was perfect. You'd talk for an hour, and then you'd be done. It was awesome. But and then <laughs> again, don't you have like after a while? Didn't you feel like there was what we call the Zoom fatigue because it was all only interacting online and not in person? Maybe I think there is. A, I think you have, do have to ration it to some yeah. extent, right? Anything yeah. too much of a good thing is not a good thing. That I know you're not true. really saying it's a good thing, but. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. And, and to be honest, so I have to throw the extroverts a bone and, and also say this is not necessarily a stereotype of, or dispel a stereotype of introverts. I mean, I still, once we could actually get together in person with people, it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so groups of people that I knew, small groups, loved it. Absolutely mm -hmm. loved that time of getting to see people in person, mm -hmm. touch them and give them a yes. hug. It was fantastic. <laughs> so you don't think I'm an anti, you know, antisocial and that all ex introverts are antisocial and don't want to be around people. It's just in a certain quantity. Yeah, that yeah, makes in, sense. in doses, right? Yep. And, and so, again, you, you could... You, you want when you want to you can choose to have your social interaction but you're not right. forced into all these social activities because it was expected of you yes. to do it right so so which is that's great and so in the workplace I would say yeah. um, you know the whole remote working um, it, you know I know a number of my friends who are also extroverts and um, and for them they had said to me that they felt very isolated mm -hmm. that was the biggest thing that they thought they felt very isolated having to work from home um, and for some of them they were very actually really glad when they had to when the company started after the pandemic I mean we're still sort of in the pandemic but you know sort of after the pandemic I guess uh, the hybrid workspace uh, actually works for them because mm. you know everybody's sort of used to having some extra time uh, working from home is already all set up so maybe the Monday and Friday being working from home and then you just come to the office Tuesday Wednesday Thursdays works great for them because they just enjoy being able to do their socialization during that short period of time mm -hmm. and then still have their other times to do other things focus right time, focus time yes time uh, yeah go ahead what's I, it like i think you know i i see the, the value of hybrid work as well I, where i struggle is that there are certain jobs that can be done 100 percent remote and people have a much better quality of life mm -hmm. you know maybe they're an introvert like me they might be extroverts too but they could do it all remote and what concerns me is is not to stereotype extroverts but it, like if the senior many of the, our senior executives the senior levels sort of require an extroverted um, approach I, mm -hmm. I would say or, or tend to fall to more extroverted people if if people need other people around them just for the sake of doing that mm -hmm. that's what kind of drives me nuts a little bit if if someone can work remote 100 percent and is totally effective and you more mm -hmm. effective why why do it that's true i i you know my own philosophy not that it's subscribed to anybody at all but my philosophy is that people should be given the choice of what is most comfortable for them if they mm -hmm. are 100% being able to work from the home right? effectively yeah. without being in office they shouldn't be forced to do so yeah. but if people needs that socialization you should give them the option to be able to sure. work a few days in the office all five days if that's what they want to do sure. right so sure. I think again too it's what makes a productive person based on 
what's comfortable yes. for them. So if you are introvert totally or I'm an extrovert, what works best for us in our workspace. So with that, I think we are out of time. We're going to wrap up this conversation. We would love to hear your thoughts about what are your introvert, extrovert experience in the workplace. Please comment below, like us, subscribe to our channel, please follow us on social media and for, for even more updates on that. Until next time. I'm going to pause. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that, please. <laughs> Tune in for many more interesting topics. Yes, absolutely. Bye, everybody.